lovely I thought I'd play that today as it is World Peace Day so I thought it was lovely to start us off with that this morning so I'm just going to push that down a little lower that's lovely so good morning everybody wherever you are we greatly appreciate that you make the time to join us whether it's uh, watching us live at the moment or on catch up later on so great that everyone is still getting, having the time or making the time to be with us, which is fantastic. So welcome from today's virtual healing, Harry, Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. And I'm Tracy talking to you from Javier in Spain. So uh, today is International Peace Day and the 2020 theme is Shaping Peace Together. So I'll be talking about that at the end. But you can watch the Peace Weekend's final global broadcast today um, on the Peace Weekend website and their Facebook page. And then if you're really feeling uh, you're, uh, you know, awake, if, if we've got any owls in, in, the, in our, the, the world, you can join them on Zoom. Uh, they're doing an open night hour, which is bringing all people from all over the earth together in one Zoom room for unity and peace. But that's at 8.30 p.m. EDT time, which is about 2.30 a.m. in Spain. So I'll be asleep. But hopefully they'll have some of this on their Facebook Live and we'll be able to catch up on that as well. And also uh, tomorrow is the autumn equinox, the start of autumn. So all new beginnings at the moment. My goodness me, autumn's come around very fast this year. So I thought it would be lovely to join, to start the, the, the session with the channel of your peace, and that was sung by Geraldine Lapp. And now I'm going to put on some music for us to listen to while I'm getting you all relaxed and comfortable. So I'm going to put that one up a little bit more. 
this is peace. It's uh, from an album at the temple door, and it's um, sung by EJ. So do please get yourself all nice and comfortable. And we'll start with some relaxation to a minute. So please shut your eyes and park all thoughts to one side. And clear your mind of any worries or concerns. Bring your awareness to the breath. Take a deep breath in and inhale all the healing energy, allowing it to flow through your body. And as you breathe out, release all your personal stresses. Breathe down through your head, relax your eyes, your jaw. Down through the neck, through down to the shoulders, the arms and hands, and down through your fingers. Now another deep breath down through the body, all the way down to your base. Down the legs to the knees, down to your feet, and out through your toes. And give him a little wiggle. Now visualize yourself in a happy place, surrounded by those you love, your little bit of paradise. And while you're there, we'll begin our achievement. So we give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And Harry Edwards' prayer, May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness. Protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me. That I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. And I have also here an autumn equinox blessing, which I thought I would mention at this time. The light and the dark are the same in length. They have equal time and equal strength. But soon the darkness will prevail 
and the light and warmth will begin to pale. But do not be afraid, do not dismay, for this is the rhythm of nature's way. Rejoice in the abundance that this year brings. Breathe in, breathe deep in the coolness and cool and change in the air. Have gratitude and blessings, keep toll. May this shift in nature enlighten your soul. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men. Light is now anchored on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, love has come forth into the hearts of men. Love has returned to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, purpose is guiding the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the centre which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out and is cleansing harmful energies. Love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. And now for the distant healing. Our thanks and blessings for you all this morning for sending out that beautiful healing and energy and to all our friends in spirit. It was lovely, thank you very much. So notices, we are now open today at Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary for healing appointments. We're up and open, slightly different way to normal, but if anyone would like to, do, to come and uh, to visit us there, then do please contact our reception to arrange an appointment. It would be lovely to see you. So on Thursday, this Thursday, the 24th, between 2 and 3, John Phillips will be doing a meditation, another beautifully guided one, so do please join us there. And that will be on our Zoom or Facebook Live, so you obviously can look up that information to join us then. And then on Friday, the 25th, uh, 10.30, we're holding a Zoom meeting on a highly informative talk by Dementia Friends. What are the signs of dementia? And that will be very, very interesting. And details on that are on our Facebook and website again. So another good thing to, to join us on and to listen to. And because of the ongoing situation with COVID-19, the Autumn Fair on the 17th of October has now been cancelled. We hope to hold a Zoom event on that day and also a new, another Zoom and, fees, and Facebook events during October and November. We'll be announcing details of these on both Facebook and our website. But just to let you know that the actual um, fair has been cancelled. Much to everyone's disappointment, but it's just not possible at the moment. So do please remember, if you want to support or you need a chat, we're here for you and to contact us in the usual way. We're always here for a chat if you need us and our receptionists are always there at the end of the phone. If you need healing or any, any form of help at all, do just please contact us. 
So I do hope you'll be joining us again tomorrow when Bev will be taking the distant healing. And so back round to uh, today, a very important day on the global calendar. It is International Day of Peace. And as I said before, the 2020 theme is Shaping Peace Together. So each year, the International Day of Peace is observed around the world on the 21st of September. The UN General Assembly has declared this as a, as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. This year it has been clearer than ever that we're not, in, we're not each other's enemies. Rather, our common enemy is a tireless virus that threatens our health, security and the very way of life. COVID-19 has thrown our world into turmoil and forcibly reminded us that what happens in one part of the planet can impact people everywhere. So in March, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called on all warring parties to lay down their weapons and focus on the battle against this unprecedented global pandemic. While the message is intended for armed parties, solidarity and cooperation across borders, sectors and generations are also needed to win this new fight against the worst public health crisis of our time. For the United Nations, 2020 has already meant to be a year of listening and learning. To mark its 75th anniversary, the UN has invited millions of people worldwide to join UN 75 the largest and furthest reaching global conversation on building the peaceful and prosperous future that we want. As we struggle to defeat COVID-19, your voice is more important than ever. In these difficult times of physical distancing, this International Day of Peace will be dedicated to fostering dialogue and collecting ideas. The world will be invited to unite and share thoughts on how to weather the storm heal our planet and change it for the better. Even though we may not be able to stand next to each other, we can still dream together. The 2020 theme for the International Day of Peace is shaping peace together. Celebrate the day by spreading compassion, kindness and hope in the face of the pandemic. Stand together with the UN against attempts to use the virus to promote discrimination or hatred. Join us so that we can shape peace together. And the song I'm going to play is Let There Be Peace on Earth by Paul Carrack with the Eclipse Choir. And do have a wonderful day. Let me put this back on. Yeah.
wonderful. So have a wonderful day, have a fantastic week, and bless you all. May peace be with you. Namaste. Take care. Bye-bye.